Hey, it is day one, two of the MLB draft today, so that's fun. Top five picks in the draft going like this. Casey Mize, the right-hander from Auburn, goes number one. We all kind of expected that. There's the list for the top five and the schools and how they were selected. And with that, I think it's time to welcome in our MLB insider, John Paul Morosi, JP, in the house, in his house, technically. He's joining us via the magic of television. And JP, uh, we showed you the top five picks with that, but give us a little synopsis here, what you've seen, the storylines from day one of the MLB draft. Well, Kevin, first of all, with Casey Myers going to the Tigers, that was the likely pick, the consensus best arm in college baseball. And again, all five of the top five picks from the college ranks. Number six, Jared Kelnick of Waukesha, Wisconsin, the highest drafted player ever from that state. But I think right now, Kevin, a lot of the intrigue is about Kyler Murray, who we know also on this network as the likely successor to Baker Mayfield as the quarterback of the Sooners in the fall. Now, I spoke with a source this evening, Kevin, who says right now, Murray indicating he still plans to be on campus in Norman playing football in the fall. But again, there's still some weeks there to figure out the negotiations of what could be a very lucrative deal for him to play baseball. Now, again, he could go pro in baseball and still play football. But again, the Oakland A's who took him ninth overall, they may have something to say about that before the signs on the dotted line. The greenery will have something to maybe make that decision <laughs> yes. when, he, when he gets that in front of him. <laughs> but that is interesting, right? I and mean, he went a lot higher than people thought. Well, since we're talking about some kids, why don't we talk about another one? Uh, young Vladimir Guerrero Jr., who continues to be absurd in the minor leagues. I keep asking you about him, but I'm going to keep asking until we have a definitive <laughs> answer. Are the plans changing for him? Are we going to see him in Toronto anytime soon? He's in, he's in the minors right now. Yes, Kevin. I, I checked with the source on this actually in the last half hour. I was told right now it is still status quo for the Jays and Vladimir Guerrero Jr. But Kevin, the numbers are simply staggering. He batted 380 in April. Well, the encore in May, he batted 438 with a 768 slugging percentage as a 19 year old in the Eastern League. But again, for now, it sounds as though even with Josh Donaldson and Steve Pierce on the DL, they're going to keep him there in the Eastern League, work on the defense at third base. Also on that team, Kevin Biggio and Bo Bichette. But Kevin Biggio, his OPS is above 1,000. We saw Craig Biggio in Houston over the weekend, a very proud father. I saw Craig on Saturday. Kevin had actually already homered in the game by the time I saw Craig, but Craig was not going to brag about him. He, of course, played at Notre Dame, a very high pick from there. He could be on his way to the big leagues before the season is over as well. That is a, that, that's a pretty good, pretty good team for the Blue Jays in the minor leagues. JP, <laughs> we have a lot more with you coming to the show, so hang in there. Appreciate that.